So we're going to talk about uh, pressure volume changes using this syringe and this balloon system. The balloon's tied off, so no more gas can get in and out of it. Uh, the syringe is open, so I can change the volume and keep the pressure the same because I'm losing gas or gaining gas. So the relationship right now is all about volume and amount of gas. Throughout this entire demo, the temperature will stay the same, and that means temperature is constant. All right, I'm going to cap this off so no more air can change. So now the moles is also constant, both the moles in the balloon, or the amount of gas in the balloon, and the moles in the syringe as constant, and that won't change. So what will change is a syringe, I can change the volume, and what will change is pressure. So imagine a water bottle, if you, if you change the volume, um, you can change the pressure. All right, so let's do that. Let's create a smaller volume. And when I create a smaller volume, so I shrink this, then the number of collisions inside will have to go up because the particles now have to travel shorter distances and each time they do there'll be more collisions against the side of the syringe and so my pressure has gone up. If I expand the syringe then what's happening is the particles have further to go and so the pressure inside the syringe is lower. All right. So what we're going to talk about is the balloon. So you may have noticed the balloon actually changes its size. And that's because of something called equilibrium. When you stop making changes, then the two forces are the same. So imagine that you're pushing on something, but there's no movement. Like take your two hands and push them together. If there's no movement, then the two forces are the same. But if you push one way, then you have a greater force. And if you push the other way, you have a greater force. But as long as there's no change, the two forces, the force inside the balloon and the force inside the syringe will be the same. So I'm going to add more force on the air in the syringe. And you see what happens is the volume of the balloon is shrinking. Let's sort of change the focus there. Um, so now I have greater pressure on the outside. So I have greater pressure on the inside. So why did the balloon shrink? Let's talk about that. Let's do it the opposite way. Here the balloon's back to what it was when it started. The syringe is back to where it started. But now I'm going to expand the volume of the syringe. And while I do that, the volume of the balloon expands. So in the syringe, when I made a larger volume, there were fewer collisions because there's fewer collisions because of the greater distance the particles have to travel. Then I have a lower volume, a lower pressure inside the syringe. So in the balloon, because see, the balloon's not changing anymore, the pressure inside and the pressure outside are at equilibrium or they're the same. So now my balloon is bigger. So let's talk about why the balloon gets bigger when the pressure outside is smaller. And we'll talk about why the balloon gets smaller when the pressure on the outside is larger.